my youtube channel as uh, uh, this is a channel where i cover practical m1a and bpm and before we get just right into it like share and subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe for all those that have subscribed thank you thank you thank you very much uh support me support the, the growth of my channel and i guess of people who need any consultancy set management yeah kindly reach out to me so in today's video we're going to reach out to look out uh, to look at how you can stand out and position yourself for the future of m1e as you know that m1e monitoring and evaluation is evolving in the new world uh in the near five years or three years to come it will be a different m1e practice so in today's video we are looking at how you can better position yourself and stand out for the future of m1e one uh the future of m1e is going to look at uh, more of a real-time data there is going to be more emphasis on real-time data so for you to better position for for it and be in a better competitive advantage you need to master how to handle real-time data as i seen there is a growing trend towards uh, using the real-time data to inform decision making uh m&e systems in the future will look at uh, uh, having real-time data in, in terms of collection, analysis, and reporting. Uh, if you look at some of the HMI systems right now, actually some of them have real-time data because they need to keep tracking of uh, to keep track of uh, everything that is happening, or if it's a disease control, a disease, a disease outbreak. So those are some of the systems you need to learn right now for you to better stand out for the future of M&E. Uh, secondly, uh, master your uh, technology. M&E, as we've seen, is already tech-based, so in the future it will be more, more, more greater use of the technology. Yeah, it's uh, going to advance in technology, and uh, technology is going to really play a, a, a significant role in the M&E systems. Uh, this may include the uh, use of mobile data collection tools. I have a video on that. There are so many mobile data collection tools. If you can master all those tools. It gives a better competitive advantage the data analytics softwares and artificial intelligence ai is a breaking out it's a new trend so it's broken out so if you can master get skills in that to give you a better competitive advantage thirdly uh, you need to master how to manage qualitative data as m and e is growing there is uh, been an increased focus on the qualitative data because uh, donors have now understood that uh, the qualitative data can actually help them understand the complexities of the social problems these people may face. So you mastering uh, qualitative uh, data collection techniques and uh, qualitative anal data analytical tools you can use, it's uh, going to really help you in the future of m and &E to actually stand out and uh, better position yourself for any consultancies, any work, you need to gain all those skills for you to better be at a competitive advantage for the future M1E. You need to understand how you can analyze qualitative data, how you can collect qualitative data and uh, give reports on qualitative data. Because as I said, it helps you to understand the complexities of the social problems. Uh, firstly, you need to, uh, to master the participatory monitoring and evaluation approach. I have a video on that on the approaches monitoring and evaluation if you can check it out very good video yeah as an m and &E personnel or specialist or officer or consultant you need to master this participatory approach to m and &E as many many organizations have adapted it and it's only going to grow 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 more and stronger in the future so you need to master how you can do stakeholder engagement throughout the whole process of the m and &E cycle, the project cycle, how you can incorporate all the participatory approaches in the m and &E to engage your stakeholders in the design and implementation of evaluation. So all project stakeholders, you need to, to know and master how do I engage them in the project design and implementation of my evaluations and in the monitoring of my activities or outputs. You need to master that and lastly, uh, integration integration of uh, program design. Yeah, this is also going to be 
the future of M&E and it's a growing trend. Yeah, that M&E is uh, increasingly being viewed as an integral part of the program design and implementation. And uh, M&E systems in the future may be designed to work in tandem with the program design and implementation rather than being seen as separate components. So you need to master how you can incorporate M and E from the initial st stages of your program or project design. That N and N and E is no longer going to be a component, just but an integral part of the program design and implementation. So you need to master how do I incorporate M and E from the get go of my project in the project cycle. Uh, that has been it. Thank you very much. Share with me your thoughts on the video and uh, your thoughts on what uh, will be the feature of an M and E and how you can better position yourself. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you again. Ciao.